so my plan was to buy five fragrances from Zara I ended up buying 11 fragrances <laughs> Welcome to my fifth episode of Perfume Diaries. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Happy new month. This month is particularly a very exciting one for me because I'll be doing a shopping guide and we'll be dropping videos every Friday throughout this uh, month of July. And I cannot wait because I have a lot of things packed for you guys. So before I move, go into this video, uh, let me just introduce what the shopping guide is about so the shopping guide basically is to help people that love perfumes that love to shop perfumes but they don't know what which one in particular to get so it's going to guide you on the kind of perfumes you would like to get according to your preference i'll be doing different um, fragrance families so you can pick from there which one uh, you you love to shop or which one you love to try on this episode we have something different um, um we're not starting the shopping guide from this episode from the next episode if this is your first time of watching perfume diaries perfume diaries is a series where we talk about perfumes documents everything you need to know about perfumes so on this episode i'm going to be doing a zara blind buy for most of you that don't know what zara is so zara is basically a, a fragrance brand um, and also a, a fashion brand basically they sell uh, fragrances, they sell clothes, designers and all that um, most of Zara fragrances are replicas of the uh, popular designer fragrances that we know that are common so I decided I tried out um, a couple of Zara fragrances and I decided to get more and see how, um, how much I would like it so my plan was to buy five fragrances from Zara. I ended up buying 11 fragrances. <laughs> I ended up buying 11 fragrances because I just felt like, I just kept reading about, reading about this one and then feel like this one is nice, this one is better and then I kept buying and buying and buying and when I got to the 11th one, I'm like, you know what, this is it, this is my bus stop. Well, I know I'm still going to buy uh, maybe during the year, but for now I am done with Zara fragrances. These 11 perfumes are just too much for me. This is like me being obsessive right now. I'm going to be mentioning the fragrances I bought and um, ranking them from my least favorite to my most favorite. So if this is the kind of content that you like, please subscribe, please share, please like, please tag your friends to watch this video if zara is a fragrance brand that you love please comment in the
fresh vanilla let me put it that way it has a very fresh vanilla <laughs> Pick what to buy according to what you like. Do you understand? So this fragrance is actually it's actually a sweet vanilla fragrance. I love it because I love vanilla. I love vanilla so much. It's just very girly, vanilla-ish, that kind of thing. So this is Femme by Zara. Number eight spot on my list is Pink Flem. I love the color on, on this. I love the color on this fragrance. It's just very classy, and you know, just look how pretty it is. This also is a vanilla fragrance. <laughs> I told you, Zara and vanilla, why like this? Five or six. It's a vanilla fragrance as well. It is described as light, fruity, heavenly, juicy, and very pleasing. Lots of mandarin, orange, melon, and praline. So this is a very, um, this also has vanilla in it, I am very sure, even though they didn't mention it in the list, but I'm very sure that there's vanilla in this fragrance. So it's more of a um, citrus vanilla, I think it's more of a citrus vanilla fragrance. These tuberose and femme are vanilla fragrances, hands down. It's just a very clean vanilla scent, that's it, I love it. Pink flame number eight spot on my list. Number seven spot on my list is Nui. And you know the funny thing, I don't know why this made it to my number four, number seven spot. Even as my um, the notes that I love best most are like down, 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 down there. But this fragrance, you won't believe what this fragrance smells like. This fragrance smells like baby powder, and I don't know why I like it. It's just weird. I love it. I love it so much. It smells like baby powder and I love it. It just smells... It just smells very different. I don't know. It probably gives me nostalgia. It reminds me of, you know, when I was younger. This just basically smells like baby powder and I love it. I don't know why. It, there's just something different about it that makes me love it. It smells different from what I'm used to, number one. and. It's very calming. It's just a very calming baby powder scent, and it's just very soft. It's not if you, if you want if you want to put on something that you don't want to be offensive, maybe in the evenings you want to stroll out or you want just a casual hangout, or maybe you just want to quickly get something and you don't want to smell bland. You can try this because it's just very easy to wear and it's lovable. Like. It's something that people would enjoy to smell. So I just I just love this. This is Nui number seven on my list. Number six spot on my list is fruity. So this fragrance, just like I said earlier, 
um, most of Zara fragrances are made to smell like um, the popular designer fragrances and I think this fruit is just smells like um, the patchouli is D&G and it, it's just it's just very very fruity just like the name it's a very fruity scent that has a lot of fruity notes in it I think the more prominent notes in this fragrance is watermelon so if you need a a cheaper version of the batteries B and G you can try Zara fruity there's a little Zara signature in it I like it it's just a very bright fruity scent just like the name says it the name says it all so I don't need to explain any further but I love I love this fragrance I love the fact that it projects well into the room and the longevity is average so I think I like it so that's number six for fruity. Number five on my list is cashmere rose. Mm. This also has vanilla in it. <laughs> this has vanilla in it and it has rose in it as well. So the mixture of rose and vanilla and it, ha it has a little powdery note as well. So it's just a very nice fragrance. It's described as a soft and charming fragrance and I'm not going to lie, that is what it smells like, soft and charming. So if you need something floral, um, charming, something soft and rosy, with vanilla as well, try cashmere rose. It um, dries down to this sweet rose as well, but the beginning starts off very um, soft, powdery and vanilla while the base dries up to a very sweet fruit it's very enjoyable number four on my list is yellow velvet so this is described as a silky sunny morning the notes of peach or try it out and I really wasn't disappointed so number three on my list is woman rose gold this is described as a sophisticated golden fragrance and I will even lie it is that notes of magnolia gardenia and amber and honestly that, that combination is just heavenly to be honest it's it's just heavenly the gardenia the magnolia the amber just gives it this sophisticated um, smell and that's what this is it's just a very sophisticated floral fragrance it smells it smells very distinctive and if you know me you know I love fragrances that are either unique or distinctive and this fragrance is very distinctive if you, if you spray it people will literally know that it's you wearing this fragrance and it's just it's just a very floral womanly 
sophisticated fragrance so honestly Bima didn't lie about this fragrance she she hyped it and she hyped it well so that's number three spot on my list I wasn't disappointed at all woman rose gold by Zara number two spot on my list <laughs> I'm beginning to think that I really love fruity scents especially fruit that are that are not easily perceived I don't know if you get me so number two on my list is Twilight Mauve this fragrance is, is a very fruity fragrance it, it smells like a green um, fruity fragrance I really love it if you know DKNY be delicious this is what it smells like this is exactly what DK and I delicious smells like and it's very distinctive it's very um, fruity and you know has all those notes all those fruity notes in it and I really enjoy it I really enjoy its fragrance it just gives me this confidence and this um, aura that the fragrance gives and honestly I'm not disappointed that's why I made it to my number two spot <laughs> okay finally 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 we're getting to the number one spot on my list guys if i tell you that if i tell you how much i enjoy this fragrance this one on my number one spot it just smells really different from what i'm used to and i really enjoy it and um i didn't i didn't really read so much about this fragrance I, I didn't really read so much about it i didn't hear so much about it i just saw the name and just thought okay let me try this out i think i would like it and i decided to get it so number one spot rose petal drops by zara guys i think this is only this is only zara fragrance that i've at least used like sometimes when i'm spraying i know i know i over spray not necessarily over spray but i spray a lot of perfumes especially when it's not like overpowering I spray so that you know that I spray perfume I don't mind to spray but this perfume I've been trying to pinch it so that it doesn't finish because it's just that good it smells it has this bitter orange floral it smells like stems <laughs> and flowers and flowers like it just it, it, it smells like a mixture of you know when you, you pluck a flower from a garden with the stem and everything so this fragrance is just basically making sure of the stem of the flower and the flower. It's just very green and very floral at the same time. It has this bitter smell. I don't know if it's bitter orange. I tried getting the notes of this fragrance. I don't know, but what I smell from this fragrance is a very bitter um, flower fragrance. It smells like a bouquet of flowers, but a bitter green orange notes also added as well it's very it's very good if you love floral fragrances but you want to divert from the sweet fruity floral you can try this it's a very bitter floral fragrance i really love it i love it so that's that's number one spot the almighty number one spot on my list hopefully when if i want to start buying zara fragrances again i'll see if i can find anyone that will beat <laughs> this fragrance from being the number one spot so that's it my zara blind buy collection and um zara fragrances are actually really good i enjoy them they are very affordable they are they smell like fragrances that um fragrance brands that you, you love and if you probably if you love these fragrance brands and you don't have so much to buy them you can try you can start with zara fragrances they are pretty affordable i think for one you can buy for like 10k to 12k to 15k then i think in a set could be like 25 to it just depends the price the, the price um differs depending on the particular fragrance just like for example this one i think this was was actually the most expensive out of all the zara, zara fragrances that i got so that's my zara blind buy collection have you tried any zara fragrance would you like to try any Zara fragrance from this video? Do you like any one that you saw from my video? Please comment in the comment section. I'd love to connect with you guys in the comment section. We're going to be starting a shopping guide for next week. Turn on notifications, like, comment, share this video, tag somebody to this video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Stay tuned 
as we have more videos coming. If you haven't watched any of my videos, please go through my channel and binge watch if you want. If you'd like to watch season one, go through my Instagram to watch season one of Bella's Perfume Diaries. Every episode is never complete without us doing a giveaway. So I'll be giving away one perfume to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram. That's click the link below, follow me on Instagram screenshot any part of this video that you liked post it on your stories or on your page wherever and tag me subscribe to this channel i'm going to post a picture of the giveaway so you can comment down on it tag two people to subscribe to my channel and like the video out pick randomly the winner thank you guys for tuning in to bella's perfume diaries episode 5 see you on my mini episodes of shop of our shopping guide next week bye